So after a year of figure drawing, I'm finally starting to have a good time. And although I'm not the best at figure drawing, I'm not like super good, I've gotten to the point where I don't think I super super suck anymore. Whereas before, when I first started, I was not having a good time. I would see the model, try draw the model, and I would fail miserably. The gap between the model and the expectation of what I could draw was so large. <laughs> So in this video, I want to guide a younger version of me on mistakes not to have done during the learning process and all the things that I felt gave me a new level up in learning figure drawing. The first biggest thing that helped me was starting to draw. And I know this may sound basic, but I had never tried figure drawing seriously before. So going to a class forced me to draw figures and to actually try to try. The homework was 20 figures a week and that was enough to get the ball rolling pencil to paper, solidifying and highlighting that I can't draw the figure, even if I tried. And because doing more drawings became a constant, I obviously wanted to reduce my feeling of sucking. And that gave me the motivation for figuring out how to draw better. Which leads me to my second point, learning 3D anatomy. And this point is contested depending on the school of thought you're in, but for me, this is what helped the most. Specifically, Kirk Shimoto's analytical figure drawing class. I've got a video on it, but essentially the human is broken down into smaller objects and you learn how to construct each piece of anatomy. See an arm, you know how to draw an arm, draw the arm. My third level up is definitely my biggest level up. It's the difference from this to this. And it's just me literally holding my pencil differently and trying to do a good drawing. Previously, I was holding my pencil like this and just routinely thinking about the method I was taught to use. But after watching this video and I saw the way Watts people draw, my mind was blown. Screw constructing everything I thought. Just draw whatever I want, whenever, for the benefit of trying to do my best. And that was it. There wasn't necessarily new instruction, it was just a mindset to change. The fourth idea of shading and line weight is something I'm currently working on. Previous to any knowledge, you can see my shading to be extremely flat and lifeless. And this wasn't to say I didn't understand the physics of it, because I definitely knew how to render spheres. The way I learned basic rendering was through a combination of Will Weston and Ramon Hurtado. Will showed me through rendering bones. Core shadow is a soft dark line, whereas drop shadows are hard dark lines. And although I got the concept mentally, I didn't have enough practice with the idea yet, which is where taking classes with Ramon really helped. He introduced me to these stumps that allow for full tonal images relatively quickly. And it's been this repeated exposure and desensitization on doing value that's helped me to recently add it to my quick sketch figure drawing. Ah, uh, faces. I still haven't figured this out yet, but I've had an evolution in it. And that was solely from watching Ramon's advanced head figure construction video. And although my head still look like garbage, I think they're usually in the realm of not extremely repulsive, please don't look. Like, I can pull out a head right now and it could be a lot, a lot worse. And so those are the five biggest evolutions I've had during my year. And although I could definitely improve upon my path, I think I've done pretty okay. I only actually ever completed seven to nine of these drawing pads which in the grand scheme of things, if I were to go ham, isn't that much. I've been working a full-time job, I exercise every day and cook my meals. I didn't spend all day drawing the figure or anything. At the same time, I didn't spend no time drawing the figure. Every week I at least did one figure drawing session. So all in all, if Passmark were to know what Future Mark knows now, I think I could probably reach the same level of skill in like three to six, four to six months. So like half the time or less than half the time. Nonetheless, I think the process of learning figures is knowing what type of figures you want to do 
and I definitely did not know that then and I still don't really know that now. So art, like everything else, is definitely a journey, it's a discovery process and I'm very grateful for everything that I've had the opportunity to learn and do. But yeah, um, that pretty much covers it. Um, if you're interested, this is these are all the classes that I did. Um, I don't think I'm the sum of these classes, but yeah, I, maybe that might help you. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are in the world. Good night.